Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we are on The Monk in, in the first time I've done Mechagon Workshop at a Mythic Plus level. Now I'm only doing a level 2, which eh, is a pussy level, I'm going to admit it. But you know what, after the evening I've had, I don't give a shit. I promised you guys that I would do the Paladin this week. And I did do the Paladin this week. Until, well, something happened. I, uh... I did my Paladin, I did an 8, Siege of Boralus, and it was great. Uh, well, it wasn't great at all, actually. What happened was, uh, one, I didn't record it. That was one of the big problems. But the second problem was, I was with the biggest bunch of fucking retards I've ever played with in my entire life. Now, you'd expect, doing a plus 8, that they'd be, uh, they'd be capable of doing something. Yet, on the last boss for the Kraken, you're supposed to move clockwise round, right? to uh, get the cannons no 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 this dps this uh this monk wanted to go anti-clockwise so i went right and wondered why we kept dying um so i'm glad that i didn't record that actually but today we are doing oh fucking hell we are doing the monk which is something that i wanted to do because the monk is a little bit different last week i did the uh the priest and I wanted to explain to you guys why it's been actually been why it's taken such a long time for me to do a video this week. This week, uh, I have been leveling my warlock with the um, with the bonus XP, and I thought this week would be the week that it ended. Um, so I was like, right, I wanted wanted to spend all my time trying to get it to level at least 110, which I did. I've got it to 100 level 110, and my plan is to try and finish it off in the next couple of days. But I thought that the bonus, the level bonus, would finish before I could do that. Then we realised that it didn't. Uh, so I apologise for it being a little bit late. Let me just move my camera up a tiny little bit. Um, so we're doing the Monk. Now the Monk is one that I'm probably going to be leaving in uh, Shadowlands, unless I do PvP with it. Um, it's, a, it's a decent healer. There's nothing a, there's nothing bad about it. But eh, I just don't find it as fun as like any of the other healers. Um... Yeah, it's kind of just press the same buttons over and over again. Which I suppose is the same with any healer, really, if you think about it. But it's just not one which doesn't really bite the bullet for me. Like, it doesn't not bite the bullet. It doesn't it doesn't entertain me as much. I mean, you've got things... You've got great AoE abilities, like Essence Font, which I'm using now. Um, and it does pretty standard, like, basic healing. I mean, I like the fact that when you use Soothing Mist, Vivify and... Healing, not healing, vivify and enveloping mist. Uh, oh, someone's got one of those add-ons on. I hate those add-ons. I think they shouldn't be allowed. The fact that it really kind of it points out that, well, no, I suppose it points out that people are doing things wrong, but it can be quite disheartening if you're someone who's who's new at what you're doing here. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, that was interesting. Okay, now... What is it? Is it bolstering? Fortified. No, bolstering is level two, and I know that because I just I just did it. Uh, so this should be a breeze, but at the moment I want to try and it's not that I'm trying to uh, just do a quick video for you guys and get out of the way, which is yes, what I'm trying to do. Let me be honest with you, um, because I've got a couple of other videos I want to try and get done over the next couple of days. But I I promised you guys that I'd do at least one video a week on the dungeon so this boss when i first did this boss it was a shit storm the very first time i did it but i actually like this boss i mean i've been hearing a lot of people saying oh we want mythic plus to be more about the bosses uh where is the box oh shit the box is over there um i want we want mythic pluses to be more about the bosses rather than the trash because this expansion and to a certain point in legion not as much i think legion was um a little bit more uh lenient when it came to how much damage mobs did in legion but this expansion it feels like the trash has been more challenging than any of the bosses yes there are a few mechanics um <laughs> he fell off. Um, that have uh, have made it so the bosses are harder. But trash seems to be more of the challenge when it comes to Mythic Plus at the moment. And I don't think that should be the case. I mean, bosses with easy mechanics are easy anyway. For example, the boss we just did. First time you did it, probably not the easiest boss in the entire world. 
But, I mean, now you hide behind the box and don't let the box crush you. That's it. Warning. Now, is this... Oh, no. I thought there was a button that turned that off. Right. Oh, shit. I went the wrong way. But I like Mechagon. I liked Mechagon as a dungeon. Um, it was a shame that it was an 8.2 and it wasn't kind of... I mean, was it, it? yes, it was its own zone. And yes, there was a story to it. But just saying it seemed very linear. It seemed like a very linear story. And I feel like they could have done a lot more with Mechagon. Um, it would have been nice if they'd done a little bit more with the professions with Mechagon. I feel like that would have been interesting. But, uh, I mean, I remember watching Asmongold try to do the hard mode. Uh, it took him like two and a half hours to do it with multiple group changes. Uh, ooh, he nearly died. So yeah, like I was saying, I, I like the monk as a healer. I just don't find it as interesting as the other healers. Um, now I'm actually going to use re revive there just to get rid of the... Revive is obviously something which I'm going to miss as a misweaver monk. Um... Because it's it's kind of dawned on me that I'm not I don't have enough time to level, and not just level. Like oh, I will probably level all my characters when it comes to Shadowlands, but with watching the stuff with Torghast and things like that, it just feels like there's going to be a lot more. It's not going to be very alt friendly. Um, it's going to be alt friendly for the Beware. fact of what maybe two three alts, but. I mean, in an upcoming video, you'll see I have a few more than three ults. Um, I will tell you guys that the only character that, apart from my Warlock, which is nearly there, the only character I don't have max level and over um, 410 item level is... Ooh, that was close. Um, is, a hun is a hunter. Um, and I don't like the hunter. I don't really like the gameplay. There's going to be a lot of hunters now, which are going to be not very happy with me for saying that. Um, you know what? I actually like this part of this dungeon. Um, it's, it's very, oh god, that was close. Um, it's very different. Oh shit, 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 shit. How the f- uh, uh, how the hell do we get past this? How do we get past that? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, is there a way through? Um, was I being blind there? I think there's a way through. Uh, that's the wrong way. This is the right way. Oh, man. I feel like such a dumbo. I'm the one right at the back now. There isn't a way through. So how do we get... Th how do I get through there? How do I get through that part? There is no way. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I see now. I see. I know, I know, I know. I see. I knew that. I, I haven't run this in such a long time. I mean, they could have waited. Man, I feel like such an idiot. I, oh, God. I remember now. I remember. I'm not an idiot. I do know. I do know. I I do know this dungeon. I've just forgotten the path thing. This is a problem again. If you don't play WoW for a long time, you lose out on item level. People don't want to invite you. You lose out on IO score. People don't want to invite you. You forget the mechanics. <laughs> people shouldn't invite you. Um, so they should be coming up here now. Let's take a quick look through the uh, monk spell book just to kind of remind myself. I have to go out. I'm red. Come on. Why didn't you why didn't you repair before you came in? Oh no, you know what? I'm not gonna type that. I'm not gonna type that. So now we have to wait for them to go out to repair to then come back in. Well, let's let's wait here a little while. Let's see how long this takes. Oh my god, we're actually ready to go. That took such a long time. The fact... Do you, do you know what really annoys me the most about this game? Is when people who are... Um, 
Has he pulled the fucking boss already? We are going big, boys. We are going big, it looks like it. I put life cocoon on him. Let's dispel me. Um, this seems like it's going to be a very, very fast dungeon. But you know what? I am happy with that. Fast dungeon. A two. It's not going to give me great uh, gear. But, I mean, I think I thought to myself, why am I leveling? Like, why am I trying to do dungeons? We're coming to the end of the expansion. I don't need the item level, really. I mean, like I say, it would be nice to get a few of the other achievements or whatever done. I did the achievement! Go ahead, make my daisy. Defeat. Oh, man, I've been trying to get that achievement for ages and not my fucking shaman yet. One time I do it on my monk, I, I somehow I do it. Um, Beware. We near the end of the we're near the end of the dungeon. We're near the end of the dungeon already, and I nearly killed myself again. Now the only other thing about the um, the monk is their mana management is very hard to deal with, because you can sometimes get carried away with. It's nice to have those instant casts of Vivify and. Um, enveloping mist and it, they are really nice but i think it sometimes you sometimes forget that they still take up mana and that's why um isn't it like focus tea or something not fortifying brew it's thunder focus tea um it, it, it is very useful and you've got to make sure that you're using that on cooldown so let's, let's dispel him this for myself as well when I can. Should be able to do that now, yeah. Essence Fun. Essence Fun. I, I have certain abilities which are my favourite abilities on each class. So, for example, Penance on the uh, Discipline Priest is one of my favourites. F uh, Essence Font is definitely my favourite on the Monk. Um, it's unbelievable. Uh, what else can I... What else do I like? Chain Heal on the shaman is probably my favorite um dawn of light anything aoe oh, i mean i know i know Ooh, uh, divine star on the holy priest um and i after last week's episode i don't know if you guys i mean i got i think i got some mixed reviews on the episode last week um but in my case i mean yes i'm doing these videos for you guys but i'm actually doing them for myself as well really trying to understand what i like about or what i'm looking for in a healer for the next expansion I mean, I'm looking for something with pretty good heals. Um, I, and at the moment, I really want to play the Priest. I want to play the Holy Priest. Um, now, the only problem with the Holy Priest is leveling it's going to be... I mean, you, you don't level as a Holy Priest. Um, you level as a Shadow, and then you go into Holy, or you level as a Discipline. But I really enjoy the Holy Priest. Oh, not even going to let me get some mana. It's good I've got that Essence on, and I'm going to miss that Essence because it really helps with mana. Um, I think this is going to be a really fast fast kill so let me quickly finish off what i was saying um so i really want to play the holy priest but i don't uh, there's part of me that doesn't want to because it's the easy mode isn't it i mean holy priest isn't hard to play we saw it last week we saw last week that holy priest is probably one of the easiest and it's the most stable or that it's the most it's the most standard healer and it's i don't know I still kind of want to play it. I mean, if I could get the hang of the Discipline Priest, I mean, I'd play it. So if there is anyone out there who plays a Discipline Priest, please teach me. I mean, even if you play on the European server, like, please, like, come and talk to me. Teach me how to play it because I I really want to know. Um, I can't get the hang of putting ped and... I can't, I can't get the hang of putting Atonement on things. Um, that was close. Uh, which makes me sad. But this week, it looks like this is going to be a fast dungeon. A 15-minute dungeon by the looks of it this week. Um, it is only a plus two, so I'm not expecting that to be... Uh, holy fucking shit, that was close. Um, really easy boss kill here. Quick 15-minute dungeon. That is your load for failure damage. No failure damage. Oh shit, you guys can't see that. How do I move this? Oh no, I can't. Let me move my let me move my camera instead. Look at this. Look at this. Zero. Zero failure damage. That's what I'm saying. Oh shit! Now I'm fucking this up. Oh my god. I should I should never piss around with it when I'm uh, when I'm playing. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. The monk is even though I've practiced it now. Let me see what gear I get actually. 
it's not something that I'm looking forward to, and it's probably not something I'm going to be taking through to um, to Shadowlands at the moment. It's still the sh it's still the Holy Priest at the top. Um, so hopefully next week when we take a look at the Druid, because the Druid or the Paladin next week, depending on which one I get my hands on, it will probably be the Druid. The Druid next week is what I'm looking forward to. So make sure you come and take a look with me at the Restoration Druid next week in the Weekly Dungeon with Mr. Moo. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week.